Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So my continuing Caden Live tutorial series, today I'm going to be showing you how to add really simple titles and text. And this is something that I think a lot of people would like to have over their videos. Maybe they want to have some text over here or, you know, a title intro of their actual video. So there are many reasons why you might want to have this. And it's pretty simple to do. All you have to do is go up here to project and then add title clip. So once you get in here, you'll notice it's just a blank canvas. So I recommend you do show background. So then you can kind of see how things will look like once you overlay the text above the actual video itself. So from here, you do have a few options. You could either add a text, add a shape, just a rectangle. You could add an image right here. And you can also save this as well. So you can reuse it later, like kind of like a template. And there is a template option here but I'll get into this in another episode. So let's just say you want to add a text, which is normally what I add. So say uh, airplane, let's just say that. And from here, you'll notice that you could actually change the color. So change it to whatever colors you want here, or maybe you actually want a custom color. You could do that as well. So you have a variety of options here. You could change that. Or if you actually choose this color, if you right click, you can actually customize this color. So, you know, so that way you don't have to guess you're already in yellow. So you can just focus on yellow. It's kind of in that region already. So you have many options there. You can also adjust the size. So you can make this bigger and you can adjust the different font types as well, which is great. I like that you have access to all your fonts. So you can change this to whatever you want, just a fun, fun text. And if you actually uh, just click on there, you can actually move this around. So you can do that anytime or maybe you have a hard time clicking it. If you go down here, there's options to select image, select text, or select everything. And you can also uh, select rectangle items and this all makes sense. And it's all related to these options here. And you can also fit it to the actual area here. So let's just say I want to select this text, right? You can just do it on here, select text items. Now it's selected. Now you can move it around and you can also add gradients as well. Um, I don't necessarily like gradients myself, but if you go here, you can actually choose the different gradients colors. So you can have one gradient with red, it's red and black. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks horrible. <laughs> Uh, I'm horrible with these gradients things, so let's just try something else. I don't know how that will look. All right. Yeah, that didn't look good at all. So, all right. But you kind of get the idea. You can just mess around with that. You can also add drop shadow. You see there, kind of brought it out a little bit. You can also add an outline. You can increase it. And see now there's an outline around the text itself. And uh, you can also manipulate the shadows. You can align things. So you can align the text. Uh, but it's a lot easier if you use these alignment options here. So I normally just align it to the actual uh, center. So which is right here. It aligns it horizontally in the center. That usually works well for me. You can also uh, underline it as well or italicize it. So you have many options here that you could adjust. You can even adjust the letter spacing as well. So once you have the text on there, you could also add a background shape. As I showed you here, there is a rectangle. That's the only shape. And so you just make it whatever size you want and whatever color you want. And you could even do things with the border as well if you like. So see, you could add that as well. So it adds a black border around this. And so see here, when you put it over, well, you can't see the text anymore. Well, you could actually move the position of this actual shape. So if you go up here, see, you could move it, raise it, lower, raise object to top, lower object to bottom. So now it's at the very bottom. And if you actually click on the rectangle itself, you could actually adjust the size. So pretty self-explanatory right there. And then another thing you could add is an actual image. Now this gets kind of tricky. So if you added a smaller image, see that fits right there. You can move it around. Okay. But 
if you added an image that is much larger than this, so I'm going to go ahead and press delete on that. Say you added an image that's much larger, right? Like this one. So unfortunately, as far as I know, I cannot just resize it like that. You know, I actually have to go up here to the width and height and I would resize it here. So, and it retains the actual dimensions, the aspect ratio. So I really rarely ever use this. So I don't play with around with it too much. So I'll go ahead and delete that. So going back to this, um, that's what I have right now. And what you can also do here is you can actually adjust the background. So let me show you what, how that looks like. You see right here, everything's really bright. Well, you can also lower this with this is adjusting the background color. So right now the background color is black, but I could change it to any other colors I want. See, that looks really weird. Probably not something that I want, but you know, you kind of get the idea. So, but this way, say you actually wanted your actual text to actually stand out. Uh, your video would actually look like this if you overlaid the title over it. So uh, I'll show you that uh, once we get out of here, but that's what you can do there. And you can also add animation. I don't really use this, but let me show you how this works. So you tell it where to start. Okay. So you could say start here and you see what I mean. And then you could tell it where to end. Okay. And you can resize it if you want. And once you're done, uh, it'll kind of like do its animation there. And so I'm going to go ahead and all right, good. So the animation's there, but you know, it, it won't show up until you press one of these buttons, but it's there. And so the reason why I did that is the next step is you could actually save this so you could reuse it later. Okay. So it's kind of has a weird name. It's like save as, but when you open it, it's open as a document. So let me show you. So you could save this as it basically is a template. That's what it really is, but let's call it airplanes. So now it's actually a video title file. So let's say you decide not to use it or cancel this. Now I'm going to delete this one. And now you want to add a title clip, right? So there's nothing here, but you can actually open a title clip that you saved before. So open document, let's open this. Boom. There it is. And we'll go show background and it'll have all the same properties. See, so this really saves you a lot of time. So if there's a certain type of a title template that you like, you could easily use that. So let's say I'm happy with everything here. Say, okay. So if you just play the video now, you know, it looks normal. So let's go ahead and add this uh, title clip with the text that we have. So let's play it again. So there's the animation. It just kind of looks weird, but you get the idea, but let's just make it seem more normal. Okay. And, and the cool thing is, Whatever you adjust here, it adjusted here. So you don't have to like delete it and, you know, put it back over it again. So let me show you. So you edit clip. You can also rename this clip as well. It's very important. Now, there's a lot of options here. You can reload it, duplicate it, but let's go ahead and edit this. Okay. And let's go to animation. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just go back to what it was at the beginning. Okay. And N. Just Start it at the beginning right here. Okay. So, all right. So let's see that again. Let's see how that looks. See, so no animation. Looks pretty good. And very, very simple. Now, as I did state earlier, there are many options that you have here uh, for the clips. And especially if you actually go into the actual properties. But these are the main things that I use. And as you can see here, you can get really creative. Um, I tend to keep a lot of my video edits, production quality, very simple. But you can actually do a lot of things with this uh, just by just what I've shown you here. And so that is it for this particular episode on doing very basic titles and texts. If you had any thoughts on this, or maybe you had your own ideas on how to produce uh, these type of uh, titles and text, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my entire Caden Live tutorial series, uh, don't forget to watch that on my playlist. I will leave that in the description area below. 
And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.